day 460 we're back into the running got in just three miles today my Achilles was sore tight I don't know the first maybe two miles it was aching and the third mile it finally I guess relaxed and felt good I'm not sure if just because my pace has slowed down a little bit maybe my I'm putting extra stress on the on my leg I, I don't know honestly don't know it's been weird I would think I'd feel recovered now even running less miles like almost a recovery week but it was bothering me so I even after the first mile I almost stopped I just thought maybe this is a little too much to push especially the Achilles and there was not a lot of muscle there to help repair so if it strains or tears it's kind of you're gonna feel it <laughs> So I'm trying not to get to that point. I like that ability to, like a few weeks or a couple of few days ago when I got to 56 days of rowing or running at least a mile. I think I averaged four and a half, five miles. But I liked that I could do that on a whim. And I don't want to push it. <laughs> so we'll see how the Achilles feels tomorrow. I was originally planning to still a little tight. I was originally planning to do the long run tomorrow, but I don't know if I hydrated well enough after this run. It's almost two o'clock now, so I, I don't think I'm gonna, gonna wanna get up at six to go run. So I'll probably push it to Sunday and just run another easy run tomorrow. Maybe go three to four just to see how it feels. And then hopefully next week I can kind of bounce back a little bit more into my regular routine. But as of right now, it's okay. I'm just I'm still getting miles in, still feeling good. The day rating for the day is just six again. But I had a I was talking to one of my friends. It's kind of running and ran with on Monday, and everything. Should I feel bad, you know, if I don't want to run today? And I said, no, not by any means. If it's if you're mentally not feeling like you're ready to run or you, you want to take a day off, you should by all means take a day off. I mean, don't feel that pressure. Just tell yourself. I think you should kind of try to establish a, a boundary, right? Just say, I'm going to run three days in a row. I'm going to run four days in a row. Or you go run a race, I want to get faster. Or run to it and say, I want to run five days and just you can do either two ways either plan it out what days work best for you maybe you just want to take the weekends off or maybe the weekends are great because you have more time <clears throat> so just plan what days you can run and what days you want to take off and that way you don't feel bad mentally or physically maybe mentally you you only want to run two or three days so allow yourself those other four or five days to take off and not feel bad about yourself really see that light going right now <laughs> but they, they did mention like thank you for help motivating me and appreciate it so I said of course you know, happy to help I, I don't know how much I'm motivating you but okay <laughs> like happy to help I think it, a lot of it comes from inside somewhere you really have to kind of want to run it on your own do it on your own because no one can really force you to do it I know my friend's trying to get ready for a half marathon, so I'm trying to give him a little advice as far as kind of how to run a few miles, how to make it easy, how to make it fun. And I definitely think that today if they said, I want a day off, then by all means, take the day off. It's, <clears throat> it's a lot to try to run every day, and it, it takes a while to get into a routine. So if right now it's your work schedule or not sleeping enough, too stressed, or something's kind of preventing you from feeling okay, then take the day. It's it's not an obligated thing to, to do. So I'm glad they took the day off. Hopefully they feel great. I mean, you should feel great. You know, if you want to run or you take the day off, you shouldn't be hurt against yourself or against your decision to run or not run. It's not what it's there for. But besides that, 
and then 60 push-ups, 30 pull-ups. Went and filled up the water bottle. The complex actually has a little water station over here, so I put in four gallons. Carried that back. That felt like a workout, but definitely not I would include as a workout. Um, had a good walk with a pup today. We actually we met one of the neighbors, and it was kind of funny. They were walking out, and she seemed kind of calm. And she was sniffing, her tail was wagging. She started getting a little fussy and was barking a little bit. And it was funny because the neighbor just said, I know I can hear you barking at me, but I see your tail wagging, so I know you want me to pet you. And I mean, they didn't pet her, but I think they got the concept that she does want you to, she was just want to be loved on and, and pet and cared for, but she does get a little nervous. And I think she's just trying to recover from about a year ago when she got she got bit so well excuse me so just staying to work with her I was actually watching a, a dog trainer today talking about anxiety with dogs and the signs to read with dogs and how the owners need to kind of be proactive and train with them so I'm gonna keep working with her and try to pick up on a few of things that he might teach and see if I can help keep her calm and tell her it's okay, that it's fine, that you know, they're not a threat, they're just trying to say hi, but, you know, a new place, and again, she, she does look unsettled, so she's more prone to be nervous, so I'm trying to get her just to relax and be okay, so, I mean, I wish it was in the summer, we could take more frequent walks, like, take little breaks and then go down, but Right now it's just it's so warm and after about 10 minutes you can kind of hear her breathing and panting a little bit so i don't want her to stress out about it i want her to stay relaxed and be comfortable outside walking and it, it can get a little hot even sometimes i'm like okay we need to go and it, it's warm for me and i can only imagine you're you're a little bit warmer with a thicker coat on so that was most of the day, I had a couple burgers with some potato chips. I had a oh, it was actually actually National Donut Day, so I heard that going in to work on, on the radio, and I was like, we're totally getting donuts today. And I get there, we're settling down for a bit, and it's eight thirty. I turn to my buddy and I'm like, did anyone bring donuts? And he's like, no, I don't think so. Why? And he's like. It's National Donut Day, and normally works pretty good with that. And I guess the other funny thing is that they sent out an email that today was my nine-year anniversary for work, which I thought it was only eight, so I don't know where the extra year came from. <laughs> so that was kind of nice. So hopefully, I'm going to take it as Donut Day is a good day to celebrate nine-year anniversary. Hopefully next year it's about the same time, so we get donuts around possibly 10 years, if, if I can make it that long, right? But, yeah, I was kind of hoping for the, the, the double win today with breakfast and lunch. Unfortunately, we only had breakfast, so for lunch, I had peanut butter, peanut butter waffles, and I a second donut. And my buddy that I was talking to earlier, and I mentioned, he looked at my lunch and said, "Did you gamble today on lunch?" I'm like I sure did, and just with the jury duty and not being in like a schedule, the new apartment, trying to unpack and find everything. I just I told him, said, "You know, I'm trying to find everything. I don't know where my scissors are right now. They're in some box." <laughs> and I thought I went through everything to try to pull everything out from the kitchen, but we're still one of these boxes somewhere. I'm hoping to get through half of it tomorrow and the other half on Sunday and be completely settled in. And whatever I don't need, I can put in storage and then open up some space in the in the living room and in my room as well. So that's the plan. That was the day a donut anniversary. I'll take that for the for the win today. 
that's it. Ready to go to bed. So run your life with health and happiness and have a good night.